The most important thing that I do in my business is to have a consistent rhythm of creating content. So that should say something to you and maybe you ought to look at your priorities in your business and ask yourself, are, ask yourself, am I in a consistent rhythm of making some kind of content, whether it's writing or making videos or recording podcasts or posting images or publishing or creating courses or publishing books or whatever it is, are you in a consistent rhythm of doing it? I have developed this urgency in myself to have a consistent rhythm of doing it. So as an example, I just got back from vacation. Um, you know, uh, Wednesday, I, I, you know, late night, we landed. Yesterday was partially recovery day. I had to do a call, but mostly recovering from my vacation. And then today, I'm back at it. I'm creating this video. I've already written a blog post. I have an urgency every day that I work to say, what's the next piece of content that I'm making? And, and I'll, I'll tell you why I'm urgent about it. Because the longer I wait before my next piece of content, the more my muscles atrophy. The same thing with working out, same thing with getting fit or staying fit, right? Staying fit. It's not about going out to exercise once a year. How, how often do you exercise, right? If you want to stay fit, you don't just go, well, I do it once a month. You know, I just go out for a walk. <laughs> No, you have an urgency to stay fit, to go out there as often as you can, right? Same thing with content. You've got to stay fit with your content, stay fit in your mind, right? Stay fit with the focus of your business by continuing to create content, no matter if nobody responds. That's the hard part. That's the key. I just watched a video uh, yesterday where Elon Musk, you know, SpaceX and, uh, you know, the guy that Iron Man was modeled after, Elon Musk, he was asked, how can people be more like you? And he says, well, you know, I'll tell you, it's, it's better than it sounds, right? He says, to create a successful company, people don't realize, most people, most people don't realize that it takes way more blood, sweat, and tears than they realize. It is he says it's a long period of pain. I mean, I know it sounds bad, but that's what Elon Musk said. It's a long period of pain, which most people are not willing to endure. That's why there are very few successful companies. Now, I'm not talking about building an Elon Musk company. I'm just talking about building an authentic business. It can be a solopreneur. I'm just a one-person show. I don't have any assistance right now. I don't have any employees I have an occasional Fiverr person that I use for graphics or whatever once in a while. Well, I haven't used a Fiverr for the last couple of weeks. Um, there's my cat drinking drinking water. It's probably the highlight of, of, of this video, right? <laughs> so um, it, I'm not saying you need to brace yourself for pain and be in pain. What I am saying, the hardest part of being in a content creation rhythm is silence. I had to endure silence for months before I started getting some engagement. Are you enduring silence? So you got, got nobody responded to your last post? So what? You have to do that for months. You have to be willing to do that for months. If you're not willing, I don't know what to tell you, honestly. And, and so you need to do your own energy practices to get willing. You need to do whatever spiritual development within yourself to be willing to do this stuff. So in other words, your content can't be for people's likes and loves. If you're doing it for people's approval, go home, you know, or stay home. You know, forget it. You've got to do your content for your own development. You've got to be in it for your own growth. There is no other way to grow faster in your knowledge and in your um, clarity about what your calling really is except by doing content. Now, this is huge. People go, George, George, no, I have got to define my niche first. I've got to figure out whom I'm trying to talk to before I create some content. How, did you, how do I know what to say, George? I don't know what to say. Open your mouth and see what comes out. Start putting your pen on paper and see what comes out. Channel 
you're writing, you know? I mean, everything's, this is channeled. I mean, I think everything is channeled. Uh, but you have to be willing to open your mouth or to put your pen on paper for the channeling to come through. Okay? People, no, I truly, I actually believe that everything, I, I'm not planning exactly what words to say. I'm channeling whatever muse or creativity is coming through right now. When I turn on the camera, a spirit comes through. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a medium or a channel. I'm just saying literally that's how it works. You've got to be open and willing for the thing to come through. And that means you've got to put keep fingers on keyboard. You know, open your mouth. Pick up the phone, right? Open your mouth. Start the live video and see what happens. Say whatever, blah, 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 jibber, jibber, jabber, jabber. And then say, well, today, you know, I, had, I was doing this today. And, oh, one thing I, I learned, see what comes out, okay? And as the things come out and you do that consistently, you get clear like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that was what I was going to say. I, today, I don't know what I was going to say. I mean, I, I had some plan of the, the main topics, but see what comes out, right? And I want to thank to some of you who have been um, joining me for this call, Devora and Jen, thank you, um, Prem and Mike, uh, Danielle and Addie, Caroline, Christine, thanks for your comments there. So before you get clear, you need to create content. Before you understand what your calling is, whom you're trying to serve. Like, I don't know who I'm trying to serve in this video, and now I know. It's Jen, it's Christine, it's Caroline, it's Adi, it's Devora, it's Mike, it's Danielle, it's Prem. I didn't know who was going to show up. I didn't know who I was trying to serve. And now I can look at you, look at your picture and go, oh, I'm talking to Devora right now. Oh, I'm talking to Mike right now. See, now I can talk to you. You see, same thing with your content. You just start writing and see who shows up. You just start talking and see who shows up. Then you know who your audience is. What am I supposed to say? You say it, and then you know what you're, you're supposed to say. Okay? And every time you say it, you get clearer and clearer about what you're then supposed to say next and the next post. Clarity comes from content. Calling, the understanding of your life's mission and purpose comes from creating content, comes from just opening your mouth and being willing to see what comes through. Okay. Um, the other thing people, uh, very important that people say, well, George, no, no, I can't create content yet because I don't have my Facebook cover image created yet. I don't have my Facebook, the about section of my Facebook. I don't have an orange cat yet. How can I create content without an orange cat, <laughs> right? Sit getting on the lap. No. Um, how can I create content without a perfect website yet? I don't, my website's not that good. I got to up upgrade it. Have you been to my website on the phone lately? It sucks, okay? My website hasn't been updated in, what, three or four years, and it sucks when I visit on the phone. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. And everything is mobile now. Like, my website direly has been needing an upgrade for, like, two, three years at least. But I'm still here. I'm still talking to you. My Facebook cover image, yeah, I kind of recycled an image from last year. It's okay. It looks okay right now. It's not that great, right? My, my Facebook about section, if you look at it, it still talks about my first book from 2017. I, mean, I didn't mention my, my, my most recent book. I mean, it's not updated. I don't care. I am still here. I am still here in front of you creating content. So, so, so the secret maybe is this. Your ideal audience is enormously forgiving. You, right? My audience, you're enormously forgiving about my stuff not being updated. My about section's not updated. My, my Facebook cover image just kind of sucks. I mean, it, whatever, okay? My website sucks. It doesn't matter. You've got to show up and create content. Your audience, if you show up consistently, your audience will forgive you. I don't care your website's not updated. I don't care your Facebook cover image or Facebook group or whatever is not updated or you don't have one. It doesn't matter. You've got to get into a content creation rhythm and then everything else will sort itself out. Everything else will sort itself out. If you get into the rhythm of content, you get smarter, you get more clear, you draw your ideal audience to you, they stay with you, okay? And then they'll just climb over mountains to find out what you have to offer. Your packages aren't clear, doesn't matter. They'll ask you about it, okay? Content first, everything else follows, okay? Um, is there any other thing I want to say? 
the last thing I'll say is this. You, the initial getting into it, just like when you first start to work out, you get muscle pain, okay? And then you start doing it on a regular basis. You kind of get used to some of the muscle pains, and it almost becomes a, a joy to you. Like, oh, my gosh, this, thing is, this, part's, this part's sore from yesterday's workout. How wonderful. Like, it, it totally changed. It used to be, God, I can't believe this part's sore. What did I just do? Why did I get into this? And then, oh, this part's sore. How wonderful. This is growing. So you, so when Elon Musk says there are long periods of pain before you see any success, okay, and initially there's some excitement. God, I'm so excited to start this business. I started creating content. There's some initial excitement, maybe some beginner's luck. But then there's long period of pain before you see any other success again. And it's sort of like some success, long period of pain, some success, long period of pain. And then, and then but then if you zoom out, if you keep zooming out, it, it looks like this. It looks like this over time. But if you zoom in, you zoom in and see what the little peaks and valleys are, it's like this. Okay? So you have, so what you're going to develop is a taste for the pain, not the pain. I mean, I, in other words, I have developed a taste for the fear. Before I started this video, I go, I don't know what I'm really going to say. Before I started my writing my blog post today, I was looking at a blank screen. I was kind of, a blank screen? How is this going to turn into a blog post? I have developed the taste for fear, okay? It's not that I somehow love fear. It's that I turn the fear into curiosity and excitement. That's what I've learned. It takes a lot of practice, and it, I still practice. Every day I, still, I feel fear before I know what I'm going to write, before I know I'm going to – I still feel fear. I'm still afraid. I'm still afraid, but I'm here, and that's the key. Be afraid, fine. It's okay to be afraid, but open your mouth. Start typing. Okay, however you make content, start doing it today. Blessings, and I hope this is helpful. Be well.